guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys an awesome uh, new ROM by Droid Vicious, the developer. Uh, he also goes by Poly Vicious on Twitter. Uh, but he's put the very first version of MIUI on the Galaxy Nexus. Now this has been out since like a week after the device was released. I'm just now getting around to doing my quick overview and install tutorial. Uh, but this is still in beta, so keep that in mind. It's not going to be 100%. It is almost 100%. Everything that you need for this phone to uh, function as a daily driver is there. Calls, text, data, um, everything that you would need to use this phone on a regular basis. The only thing that kind of annoys me is that uh, the video is kind of sketchy. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But everything else like your GPS, your camera, all of that good stuff works great. Uh, the ROM itself is pretty fast. And the main thing is that it's totally unique. MIUI is not like any other Android ROM as it has its own unique look and feel and style. You can see that it's kind of an iOS style uh, ROM. Now one thing that should be noted here, the themes. If you go in and customize, let's see here. If you go in and customize, you can choose, pick and choose these different things here. Uh, and they will work. Like I changed my wallpaper, that worked just fine. I changed uh, changed the boot animation, that worked just fine. But if I want to go and change the whole theme, it will not work. If I go and change the theme to this ice cream sandwich style theme, all I'll get is a big black screen with soft keys in the middle. It's because this is a, a high definition screen. It's too big for the themes that have been developed for MIUI ROM. Uh, because as you guys know, MIUI is... Uh, over multiple platforms. It's on just about every Android phone available, but the themers have not developed themes for this size phone just yet. So other than that, everything seems to be working just fine. Oh, one other thing that is not complete here is we don't have a menu button down here in the soft keys. We just have like the original soft keys there, just like stock soft keys. If we had a menu button in the soft keys, we could press that menu button and change the launcher settings, and we could have neat effects like cube rotation on the transition here and some other cool things that we could do with the launcher but we can't because we don't have that menu button and I don't know how else to access those um, but like I said you can customize through the themes and you can come in here and do like a percentage battery by going to toggles and selecting that and going into uh, battery indicator style you can choose your percentage there uh, so that that's pretty cool so all in all this ROM is like 99% complete. It runs quick and smooth. It's fast. Uh, but it's just lacking just a few little minor things that keeps it from being a daily driver for me. But you may can get away with uh, the sketchy video and the theme changer uh, if you want a totally unique look and feel to your ROM. So for those of you that are not familiar with MIUI or MyUI as a lot of people call it, I'll just run through some of the features. Uh, you guys probably noticed the My UI lock screen. You can quickly access your phone or your text messages, or you can just slide to unlock. You have a My UI file explorer. You have the My UI toolbox. You have the My UI camera. Where's it at here? Okay, it's probably on the next screen. You have My UI music, My UI downloads, uh, My UI icons that kind of make it iPhone ish. And. Where did my camera go? It's on there somewhere, I'm sure. I'm just not looking correctly. And you can also do really cool things to change like your home screen layout. You can grab an app and drag it down here into the hot button bar. Uh, you can scroll through these screens really fast by touching this little button down here. If you want to get all the way to the end. Uh, you guys probably noticed that it does not have an app drawer. That's because all the apps that you download go directly to your home screen. Uh, you can organize all that with folders like you would in iOS. If you guys haven't noticed already, this is a very iOS-y ROM. Um, another thing you can do here is press and hold and add widgets. You've got all kind of widgets down here that you can add. And we'll go back here. If you uh, pinch to zoom in, you can change the layout of your screens. You can take away screens and add screens and you can change your home like if I wanted to move this screen way over here I could do that and then I could change that to my home screen and 
if I go back, now when I press the home, that's the screen it takes me to. Uh, and then my other screen is moved way over here. So there's actually a lot of really cool things that you can do to customize this ROM and make it totally unique. This is probably nothing uh, that your friends on stock have seen, and it would probably really impress them. Oh, there's the camera app right there in front of my face. So anyhow, I really love this ROM. I like what Droid Vicious has done with this ROM. This ROM is in incredible shape, and I'm sure when he updates it next time, he'll probably get that video fixed, and uh, this ROM will be 100%. So for now, I, I love this ROM, but I probably won't stay on it for more than a couple days at a time just because I need the video, you know, for YouTube and whatnot uh, because I do run a YouTube channel. But anyhow, that's that. We're going to jump into the install, the installation guide. So what you need to do is power off your phone. And I'm just going to power off. Hit OK. You guys saw the extra features there in the power menu. That's standard in MI UI or my UI as a lot of folks call it. And then we're going to go into the recovery mode. Just hold your volume buttons and your power until you feel it rumble. Okay, that'll put you in the bootloader screen. You're going to go to recovery mode, select that. And I'm running the touch recovery. And, you know, some of the ROMs were not installable on touch recovery, but I think he's got it all panned out now and everything's installing pretty good on touch recovery. If you want to know how to install touch recovery, check out my video on that. So what you want to do is go down to wipe data factory reset, select that, go down to yes, delete all user data, select that. I'm going to go back because it's already installed. Wipe cache partition, select that and hit yes wipe cache and I'll go back with everything said and done I probably will stay on this ROM for a few days go to advance just because I like MIUI and I'm really happy that Droid Vicious did get it onto our device he's done an excellent job with that and then you're gonna wipe Dalvik so I really appreciate everything that he's done and like I said if you go ahead and jump on this ROM now select yes wipe Dalvik cache if you go ahead and jump on this ROM now He's continuing to develop this thing. He's putting out a weekly release. So I know that he'll have all the bugs ironed out before we know it. We'll have a release candidate pretty soon. So we'll go back and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. If you've downloaded it directly to your phone from the link in the description, it'll be in that download folder. And you're looking for Vicious MIUI version 4 Toro if you're on CDMA. And you'll go to yes, install Vicious MIUI version 4. Sorry, my UI. I know that I'm saying it wrong. And when all that's finished, it'll take a few minutes. You'll select reboot. And you'll now be on uh, Vicious My UI. Guys, I hope you enjoy this awesome ROM. Check out droidmoderx.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E9 of 3. And be sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Ooh, please.